guys, it's Chuck. Uh, welcome back to my shop. Thanks for stopping by to watch the video. Um, well, typically on Saturdays, I uh, golf every Saturday. And I decided to take this Saturday off. And uh, although I have uh, kind of pains to, that I wish I played, uh, it was a great day here that I stayed in the shop all day and I got a lot of things done. Uh, so this morning I said it was, let's go maintenance. and. Uh, added shelves and cabinets, made a rack for uh, the um, emery cloth paper, uh, made another shelf back at my surface grinder. Um, just a good morning. Um, to follow up the day though, which had a lot, have a lot of fun here in the shop, um, my uh, buddy and mentor Chewy uh, stopped by and uh, that's what this video is going to really be about. Um, he had a uh, three-jaw chuck that he needed to get trued up so he could use it on his uh, Stark lathe. Um, there is uh, some video that I did earlier where I helped him on uh, an indicator holder for it. You can see that lathe. Um, so I'm going to show you we uh, trued the jaws, jaws up and um, ended up uh, here on the machine. Uh, you'll see the reading. Uh, but when he went home and put it on his own machine, he was uh, total readout, uh, run out was uh, just a touch over uh, one thou. So it worked out really good for him and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Again, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all the subscriptions and uh, enjoy all the friendships. Take hey care. guys, it's Chuck. Welcome back to my shop. Uh, today we got a little job. My buddy Chewy, my mentor. Uh, is uh, got a little job for the Stark lathe. Um, some time ago I made him this arbor uh, that fits the uh, thread on this chuck. And so what we're going to be doing, or he's going to be doing, he does, but he's camera shy, but we'll see his hands. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's uh, going to be grinding the uh, three-jaw chuck here. And he's already got a ring in the back there that has the jaws locked, so, and the jaws are pushing inward. And so he'll go ahead and grind the uh, grind the chuck, and uh, we've got a grinding wheel here, and he's already relieved the the grinding wheel, so it's ready to go. And uh, we'll be putting this in the uh, the uh, air tool. It's right over there, Chewy. That uh, the air grinder that uh, I made the uh, holder for the other day. So uh, we'll get it set up, and uh, we'll get some grinding going. Be right back. Well, I thought I'd do a little discussion before uh, turn on the machine and the air and the air grinder running. Um, but we put the arbor in the three-jaw chuck. The small chuck is mounted on the arbor. And we found that the uh, it wasn't concentric. So with the buck chuck, um, we went ahead and made this chuck arbor concentric with the lathe. And we're ready to grind. So we have the grinding wheel in there. And uh, we have our duct tape uh, throttle, throttle uh, pedal, or whatever you want to call it. It's going to hold our throttle on. I uh, got the feed and speed set, and uh, we're going to be starting to make some noise. Here's a uh, shot of the uh, jaw. Hopefully the camera will stay in focus there. Uh, the grind came out good. The um, initial cut was really kind of heavy, uh, but we went with it and uh, made a couple of uh, four thousandths passes and then a spark out. And uh, it's turned out real well. And uh, we're going to move on. So we got an indicator on it. and. We got three uh, three thousandths total run out after the grind. 
total indicator run out. Total indicator run out. And that's on a chuck that's, uh, we're guessing, built in the early 1900s. Um, so it's going to work well uh, for Chewy's uh, uses back uh, on the uh, Stark lathe.